This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Moore. Here are the latest stories we're following right now from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. New video shows police towing a car that matches the description of the one used in a drive-by shooting in Mesa. Last Friday, somebody opened fire on a food truck event, killing a one-year-old boy and hurting six other people. Today, Mesa police searched an apartment in South Phoenix connected to the shooting. That is where they found the car. They are still searching for the suspects. A driver now faces second-degree murder charges after a deadly wrong-way crash this morning in Scottsdale. Police say 25-year-old Nicholas Sajovic was driving an SUV the wrong way when he crashed head-on into a motorcyclist, killing him. This was on the Loop 101 at Chaparral. Troopers believe the driver was impaired at the time. Arizona's coronavirus numbers are headed in the wrong direction again. For the second day in a row, the state health department is reporting a 7% test positivity rate that is up from 4% earlier this month. And for a third day, roughly 1,000 new cases were confirmed along with five virus-related deaths. The number of COVID patients in the hospital is back above 1,000. And tomorrow's the deadline for you to request a mail-in ballot for the November election. If you don't make that request, you can still vote in person. If you do have a mail-in ballot, the Postal Service says get it sent back a, at least a week before the election to make sure that it gets there on time. Ballots must be received by 7 p.m. November 3rd to be counted. You can also drop them off in person at a polling location. If you would like updates on more stories we are following, you can download our app and you can subscribe to our YouTube and our Roku channels. I'm Heather Moore. Have a great night, everyone.